Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use delete activity in a data factory. So we are going to perform a demo in which we would like to delete some files from a different containers. And here, what I have, I don't have anything right now. I have only resource group and Azure Data Factory. What I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a blob storage. So let's go ahead and create a blob storage. And here we are going to give that name, create new storage. And let's provide a name now uh, you have to provide a subscription then resource group in which you would like to have the uh, blob storage and then that's where it's gonna be name so tech brothers storage let's say we keep this word okay now what we are gonna do here is gonna be in East US a uh, standard is fine and uh, uh, redundancy I don't really care about that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, hit uh, create so it's gonna create uh, a blob storage once uh, the blob storage is created, what we are going to do, we are going to create uh, some containers there and then uh, upload some files. Okay, our resource is ready. Let's go to resource and that's our blob storage. This is the name of our blob storage. Here are containers and in the containers you see that there is a dollar sign log folder is already created but it doesn't have a whole lot. So what we are going to do, we are going to go back in the uh, storage and here we are going to create a new containers. The first uh, container that I'm going to create is called the input container. And uh, then I can go ahead and create another container. So let's uh, do output. And whatever is required, you can keep creating uh, different containers. Uh, inside this container, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and upload some files from my local uh, machine. So here I'm going to select on that one and then uh, show all. And I'm going to go to the right here in ADA folder and I'm going to select all different type of files. I have some text files, CSV file, Excel file and .t, uh, .rtf file. So I'm going to upload all of them. Now do you, this could be a very uh, different uh, scenario like let's say you are getting uh, different files in your folder, input folder and there are some EMP files or some other file you would like to delete. So maybe you have loaded these files first and then would like to delete those files. So what we can do here, we can go to the Azure Data Factory here and in the Azure Data Factory we are going to go to the author and here we are going to go to the pipeline. I'm going to click right here on the plus sign, create a new pipeline. So I have seen uh, different people been using uh, different methods to delete the files, but um, I'm going to do it uh, only with the delete activity. So I have given the name to my pipeline PL delete all files and uh, that's uh, all. And uh, I, I was telling you like people what the people ha have done sometime uh, they have used uh, get metadata. So get the list of the file then use uh, uh, metadata let me show you so what they do they use get metadata once they get the list of the files then they use for each loop and inside the for each loop then they use the delete to delete that file so inside here they use a delete but you really don't need to do all those steps if you need to delete all the files from a folder or even some specific files from the folder so in this case what I'm gonna do I'm gonna only use a delete activity let's go back and remove this for each and get metadata because we don't really need this one so I'm gonna go and only get delete activity once I have the delete activity here I have to define where is my source so go to the data set I'm gonna go ahead and create new it's gonna be blob and uh, Azure blob storage that you guys know that uh, I'm gonna call this one uh, uh, input folder okay now which uh, link service you would like to use I'm gonna create a new link service because I do not have a link to service for this one so select your Azure subscription select your storage account and then uh, you're all good to test it and uh, is uh, successful uh, what we can do uh, we can uh, name it uh, blob storage and the uh, okay, link service okay so that's uh, what we are going to create uh, and uh, if you guys see there, we in the linked service, I did not go to the container level. I only went to the uh, storage uh, uh, level so that we have uh, created the blob storage. Now here, once the link service is created, we need to tell uh, to this data set uh, to which folder it need to go. So you can uh, go to the input folder here, 
right click and see our container names comes here I don't have further directories and all that so I don't have to do that uh, I don't want to even specify one file so I'm all good with this so just have this input folder there and hit OK so our data set is created now here there are tons of things that you can do with this delete activity first of all file path in data set if that's true you can use that and delete that file okay then other part is wild card file path so you define a different type of criteria which type of files or how the name or anything like that you can use wild cards to specify the file path and the prefixes if you they have some prefixes and the second is last with a list of the files so maybe you want to click here point to the text file that list each file relative path to the folder path configured in the data set that you want to delete so we can save even list of the files in one file and then uh, point this uh, uh, file right there where the file is sitting and have the list of the files that we would like to delete and uh, we can uh, use that but in my case I'm not really interested in that scenario what I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go with wildcard file path okay so let's go to the storage and if you guys see that I have EMP and then uh, I have uh, these files so let's say if I would like to only delete dot txt files so that's gonna be easy I can say asterisk dot txt so that means uh, delete anything that has extension dot txt okay so that's all um, filter by um, last modified we don't care about that recursively yes if I would have some folders and all that it will go through them but in my case uh, I have uh, everything in input folder so it's okay I'm just gonna still leave this one as it is log uh, login settings so it is asking where you would put uh, where you would like to put the log of deleted files so if you would not uh, need to know like hey when my uh, pipeline executed which files it has been deleted or has deleted so you can go I'm gonna use the same blob storage path so I'm gonna say okay go to the uh, this uh, input folder and uh, that's where you can create uh, the log so I'm gonna go ahead and say input or I can create a new uh, folder here on the let's say if we go back here tag browsers and uh, uh, I can go and create a new container and I'm gonna call this one a logs okay great now that is created I can go back here and now cancel this out browse and uh, oh, it's not refreshing here so let's see cancel this out and I can put actually logs directly so if I will browse it now it's still uh, like not browsing it because it did not refresh or anything like that so that's all right now what we are gonna do uh, if uh, we save it publish it we come back to it we can let me see if I can browse to it you know uh, by just clicking here so now if I go browse it's still bringing me the same thing I, I wish there would be a refresh button here so let's see if I go back here root folder yes so I came went to one folder then I went to back and that's how I got this one so I have the logs now okay so hit okay now this is the same thing I typed all right so you're all good here and we are gonna go ahead and click debug and it should delete all the files which has extension dot txt so in our storage we know that in the input folder we have those there were three files that they had a txt file uh, extension so this is a completed this looks like cute but it's already deleted the file so we go ahead and take a look and here input folder and now you can see that uh, like okay it's looking for a wild card that uh, asterisk dot uh, txt so three file has been deleted we can take a look on this one okay files deleted three and the wild card this and uh, that's uh, all you can uh, have right there okay so you can take a look on that one now the files has been deleted we can go back to the container and refresh and they've been deleted now let's say if I have all different files and I would like to delete all of them let me upload the, some more files here so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna upload these files which we just deleted and uh, now we have uh, different type of files we have uh, .txt, .csv and uh, uh, dot uh, rtf and all that so now in my case I would like to delete every file so I'm gonna go back here and uh, go to the source before I go there let me show you the log that it created when we um, delete those files so go to the home and uh, here is a uh, your containers 
and in the containers uh, you have those logs folder and here is that folder created so I'm gonna double click and open it go to edit and it should tell us the three files has been deleted remember that dot txt file extension so, so these are the files it deleted when we executed that pipeline now when it will run next time it's gonna create a new log file for us and it should have more records because we are deleting everything so we are gonna go back click on the activity here and uh, instead of saying dot txt uh, here say asterisk dot asterisk that means delete everything so let's uh, start a debug it's taken some time here but anyways let's go to the log uh, let's go back to the our blob storage go to the input uh, and uh, here all the files has been deleted so and on the other side when we come back uh, to the pipeline execution uh, we can see that it's completed successfully so we can go here it tells you all that details from where it is reading and all go to the output and here we see that the six file has been deleted so this uh, delete activity has a lot of uh, features and uh, you can do tons of things so if in case uh, you need to further parameterize it like the path for the uh, file path and all those kind of things you can always go create a new parameter and use in the connections and uh, that will be really helpful so let's say you save all the list of the folders uh, from which you would like to delete the files and uh, then uh, you want to you know use the look up read those list of the file from some sql table uh, and then uh, loop through that for each loop and for each of the folder you wanna uh, you change it so you can use a parameter and uh, keep uh, passing the values from the uh, for each loop every time it update the folder and then delete all the files so there are tons of scenarios you can come up and uh, according to your need so thank you very much for watching please subscribe and i will see you guys in next video